never forget how to ride a bike or the lessons you learn while you're riding. And that's the message behind the new movie Hard Miles, inspired by a true story. The film follows a social worker played by Matthew Modine as he takes a group of juvenile convicts on the ride of their lives. Take a look. Each of these things is going to carry you across three states to the Grand Canyon. But hear me out, I got a plan. Why don't we just drive? If we drive and I, I could do that. By the end of this trip, you will become one with it. Oh, here we go. You are going to learn to work together. Let's show the state who these kids really are. Not that steep. You gotta be kidding. And Matthew's with us now. Welcome. Good to see you. Oh, it's so nice to be here. Thank you. Yeah, there's so many things for us to talk about because you always got a whole bunch of things going on. But let's talk about this movie. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, I just saw it last night. I love this me this movie. I love the message behind this movie. And I know that you're an avid cyclist. So when they told you about this, were you like, yep? Oh, it was so easy. Yeah. I'd worked with the director before, Daniel Hanna, on a film called Miss Virginia, which was also a very good feel-good movie about empowerment and, and helping troubled youth. And so when he asked me about doing this one and, and the bicycling and going to the Grand Canyon, I was like, yeah, absolutely, sign me up. Yeah, so had you been to the Grand Canyon before? Had you biked around there? I'd never biked there. I went there when my wife and I were still boyfriend and girlfriend. We, we went across the country in a Greyhound bus because oh, we, we were having a fight and, and I thought, you know what would be great? is if we had to sit together, each other, and go 3,000 miles across the country. <laughs> That's a great idea. How did that work yeah. out? It worked out great. We're married now yeah. 44 years. Oh, I love She's that. She's watching right now with her mother. Hi, Ida. Uh, hi, Ida. <laughs> I just took my family there, too, and it's really a spectacular place, But so it must have been great to be filming around this. But the movie's kind of like, it's about Greg, and he takes, takes these troubled youth on this bike journey, and it's almost like it's therapy, almost, for everybody involved, I think. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's... You know, what Greg Townsend, the real Greg Townsend, was able to do was to help kids to build their own bicycles so that they took pride in the thing that they made. And then, like a horse that has blinders on, that's their troubled youth, their troubled home that they're in, the difficulties that they're having yeah. going through life. And by pulling those blinders away, he helps them to see that the world is much bigger than those yeah. problems. And he's helped thousands of kids in, in rehabilitate and live productive lives. Yeah, I wrote that down, actually, because you say that in the film, too. Yeah. And I was like, yes, that is it's such an incredible message. It's such a bigger world than that one thing that you're living in right now that has all the problems. There's so yeah. many options for you. And, and, and young people, the, the, that period of trouble is really only like 14 to 17 years old. And yeah. they can make mistakes that affect them throughout their life. So it's so important to help them, to rehabilitate them and, and help them to live productive lives, yeah. you know, not to give up on our children. Right. I heard that um, you actually credit biking to your long career, this longevity, is because you biked to all your auditions so you could make it to like four in a day. Exactly. I, could, I mean, when I first moved to New York, I couldn't afford a subway token. So that Raleigh beach cruiser that I had, I rode it till I went into a pothole and I broke the frame in half. <laughs> but that bike had literally like 3,000 miles on it. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I was, I was able to, to, to turn that bicycling into my gym, turn it into my transportation. Yeah. And that evolved into something called Bicycle for a Day, which helped to usher in the bike lanes in New York City, yeah. the bike share program. I got a proclamation from uh, Mayor Bloomberg. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's, what is the secret to, to bike riding in New York? Uh, upright bicycling. Don't, you, you wouldn't want to ride these kind of bicycles because your head and your torso is over the handlebars. You want to sit up yeah. high. You know, the city bikes are great because you sit up high so people can see you and you can see the traffic ahead. There you go. And if somebody opens a door, hit the door. Don't swerve because that's, that's what gets people killed when they swerve into traffic. No, no, I would never guess hit the door was the what door. you were going to say. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. Well, you have a bunch of um, other independent movies out right now. Um, they're on the festival circuit. One of them is called uh, Sludge. The other is Martini Shot. Yeah. How do you choose your projects? Because I feel like you have such a you know, wide range or array of yeah. different projects. Yeah, there's another one called Down, Downwind that's about the nuclear testing. After, after the Trinity test, that I was in Oppenheimer. Yeah. Uh, after that bomb went off, the Trinity, we, we've tested over uh, 900 bombs in the United States, and that radiation falls all over the entire country and causes cancer and, and debilitates people. So that was an important film to get the message out. Sludge is about PFAS, you know, plastic yeah. and, and, and toxins that are, that, are, that are affecting people. It, uh, 
uh, hormonally. Uh, and, and it, it's, a, it's a big, complicated thing. It is. Yeah, you choose things because you want people to... Ha- to be more aware. Like how you make us aware of living in New York City. And, and <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. How our producers choose things. They do a good job. And you, you do a fantastic job on the projects that you choose. Hard Miles is definitely one of them. It hits theaters on April 19th, so be sure to check it out. Matthew, good to see you. Thank you so much.